Hey guys, this is Alice in person and I want to give you guys a video to show you how I achieved my blowout from start to finish. So first I'd like to start off using the It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In product. Um, the bottle is usually blue, but this is a special edition scent, so it's a little multicolored. So I like to really get in there and saturate all of the hair with the leave-in spray. It can get a little thick, so sometimes when it gets down to the bottom, I'll add a little water to dilute a little bit um, because it's kind of hard to pump. So once it's in there, I just try to comb it all through. Because you really want to work that product in. I prefer to use a large um, comb with longer teeth because it seems easier for me to get through my hair with it being so thick. So I like to re-wet the hair as I go because I find that if you start combing through your natural hair when it's dry, it tends to pop and um, we don't want that. So you want to just continue to keep it moist while you're going through it with the wide tooth comb. And as I'll show you how it's very minimum hair after combing through all that hair. And now I'm going to be using my beautiful chrome Rose Gold FHI Blow Dryer, and you definitely need a comb attachment. And I start from the bottom, and I work my way up. You want to be sure to have a great blow dryer because that is the most important part of this process. If you don't blow dry that hair really well and get it as straight as possible with the blow drying process, then it just makes you work a little harder once you're done. I'll be sure to add a link um, below to show where you can purchase your um, blow dryer if you want to use um, this particular brand. So you'll notice I'm going to stop and re-wet the hair in the middle because again, I don't like blow drying dry hair because to me it tends to pop. So I just kind of wet spots that I feel like dried out a little bit too much before I can straighten it out, especially in that crown area where the hair is usually more coarse. So as you can see, the hair is quite smooth now. The ends are rather straight. So that's what I mean by you want a really great blow drying tool because that way um, you don't have to do so much work. And now I'm going in with my Moroccan oil, which is, I'm trying to show you guys, it's a Moroccan oil light. <laughs> they say it's no different from the regular Moroccan oil, but I just like the light. I just feel like it's lighter. And I'm just going to go in and just rub that all through my hair and on the ends. And it's, it's, you don't need a whole lot. You just use what you have left in your hands and just rub right on those ends. And to me, I just feel like it protects my hair while I'm um, straightening it out and using hot tools. So now I'm just separating the hair and I'm preparing it um, for just straightening. So what I like to do first, um, I wanted to achieve a looser curl, so what I'm gonna do first is go in and just smooth the hair out with no product. Um, with no product, like no holding spray or spritz. I'm just gonna go in with smaller pieces, and I'm gonna show you the sections, just smaller pieces, and just smooth that hair out with the flat iron, and usually, I don't have the flat iron on um, a very high setting. Um, it's maybe on 350, between 350, 375, maybe 400, it all depends, only because we're gonna go back through 
and curl it again. I just want to get those ends smooth. I just find that if you straighten the hair first and then go behind it and curl it, the curl is not as tight. So what I like to do is I'll go in and I'll smooth it out and I won't put any you know, product on it. And then when I go back in, after it's set a little bit, um, it gives me a nice curl. I'm using the uh, pink H2 Pro Diamond flat iron, and I will put a link. I'll try to find a link on Amazon where you guys can purchase one because I think I saw one on Amazon for like eighty dollars. It's a little more difficult in the very back of your head but you just kind of have to feel your way through and as you can see I like to put a comb under the flat iron or in front of the flat iron because the comb helps to guide those ends out so it can be quite smooth after you pull it through the hair shaft. Let's just kind of feel your way. As you can see it's just the middle section and you just work your way up. One of the products that I didn't show you guys um, that I put in my hair before I, I start blowing it out is the Hydrant Argon Moisturizing Cream by Design Essentials. But the reason why I didn't show that product is because it is no longer available. Um, so now I have to figure out what product that I can use um, to achieve what I achieve with that product. So. Pray for me, y'all, that I find something I love. Um, I think I'm going to use another product by Design Essentials, but I just want to test it out first before I share. But I'll keep you guys posted.
so now that that's all done I'm going to separate the hair again and I'm going to go in with my formations finishing spritz by design essentials and as you can see I just kind of missed throughout the hair you don't need a whole lot um, I don't go in and spray each section as I go for one that takes up way too much time but you really don't need that much product um, this product doesn't get really crunchy um, but it does hold and sets that curl in um, and it helps with the frizz and whatnot so I've been using this product for years and I love it and as you can see I'm going in curling the hair in bigger sections um, and that's because I went in earlier and did smaller sections when I just smoothed the hair out. So you don't want to go back in and, and, and do smaller sections or curl it. I mean, unless that's the look you're going for. But I wouldn't have did smaller sections in the beginning. I would have done larger sections because, again, my purpose was just to smooth the ends out. But because I knew I was going to do, like, bigger curls, I want to go ahead and smooth it out. And now I'm going in just doing bigger sections for the curls. So the goal is to use the least amount of heat, um, but you also want to achieve a style that's going to last. So what I'm doing is just basically spiraling the hair back with the flat iron. This flat iron is an inch flat iron and it has the curved edges which makes it easier for you to curl with. So I'm just taking all the curls back. And again I'm just spraying a little bit of product. You don't need a whole lot. I also like to point out that when I do the curls on the top, I really like to over direct those curls just to give it a little bit more volume. Now that the curls are done, I'm going to go in with my Design Essentials Sleek Edge Max. I don't use a whole, whole lot of edge control. I just feel like it's a little greasy. And I use my favorite comb. 
I'm just gonna comb all the hair back. So I'm just gonna keep combing the hair to end together, comb it to the back, and then I just push everything forward and pull the hair forward with my fingers. And I just keep doing this until I achieve the look that I want. I also like to spray a little bit of the Miracle Spray by It's a Tan because it holds the hair but it doesn't weigh it down or make it crunchy. It's made very combable after you use it so I really love that product as well. And we're all done. Thank you so much for watching.